Vitamin B12, also known as cobalamin, plays an important role in the production of your red blood cells and DNA, uh, as well as the proper functioning of your nervous system. Unfortunately, vitamin B12 deficiency is quite common. So in this video, we're looking at who's most at risk and what are the common signs that you should look for. Basically, you're at risk of deficiency if you don't get enough uh, vitamin B12 from your diet or you don't absorb enough from the food that you do eat. People at risk of a B12 deficiency include the elderly, um, those who've had surgery that removes part of the bowel that absorbs B12, uh, people on the drug metformin for diabetes, uh, people following a strict vegan diet, uh, as B12 is found in animal foods like meat and dairy, um, those taking long-term antacid drugs for heartburn. Symptoms of a B12 deficiency can take years to show up and is really difficult uh, to diagnose. Uh, what's more, it's often mistaken for a folate deficiency as well. Okay, so the first symptom of true vitamin B12 deficiency is pale or jaundiced skin. People with a B12 deficiency often look pale or have a slight yellow tinge to the skin and whites of the eyes, a condition known as jaundice. This happens when a lack of B12 causes problems with your body's red blood cell production. Basically, you end up with fewer red blood cells circulating around your body and your skin can appear pale in color. The red blood cells are really fragile as well, which means many of them break down, causing an excess of a brown colored substance called bilirubin. It's this substance that gives the skin and eyes a yellow tinge. Number two, weakness and fatigue. This occurs in vitamin B12 deficiency because your body doesn't have enough B12 to make red blood cells and red blood cells are used to transport oxygen around the body. As a result, you're unable to efficiently transport oxygen to your body's cells, making you feel tired and weak. Uh, in the elderly, this type of anemia is often caused by an autoimmune condition known as pernicious anemia. Now, people with pernicious anemia don't produce enough of an important protein called an intrinsic factor. Uh, this is essential for preventing uh, a B12 deficiency as it binds with vitamin B12 in your gut so that you're able to absorb it. Number three, glossitis and mouth ulcers. Glossitis is a term used to describe an inflamed tongue. It can also make your tongue look really smooth as all the little bumps uh, that contain your taste buds uh, stretch out and disappear. Studies have shown that a swollen and inflamed tongue that has long straight lesions on it could be an early sign of vitamin B12 deficiency. Additionally, some people may experience other oral symptoms such as mouth ulcers, a uh, burning and itching sensation in the mouth, or feelings of pins and needles in the tongue. Speaking of which, number four is sensations of pins and needles. And one of the more serious side effects of long-term vitamin B12 deficiency uh, is nerve damage. This can occur over time as vitamin B12 is an important contributor to the metabolic pathway that produces the fatty substance myelin. Now myelin surrounds your nerves as a form of protection and insulation. Without B12, myelin is produced differently and your nervous system isn't able to function properly. Uh, one common sign of this happening is paresthesia or the sensation of pins and needles, which is similar to uh, a prickling sensation uh, in your hands and feet. That said, the sensation of pins and needles uh, is a common symptom that can have many causes. So uh, that symptom on its own uh, is usually not a sign of vitamin B12 deficiency. Number five, disturbed vision. Blurred or disturbed vision can occur when untreated vitamin B12 deficiency uh, results in nerve damage to the optic nerve uh, that goes to your eye. The damage can disrupt the nervous signal that travels from your eye to your brain, uh, impairing your vision. Uh, it's not unlike uh, untreated uh, diabetes. Now this condition uh, is known as optic neuropathy. Although alarming, it's often reversible by supplementing B12. In fact, for most people, a B12 deficiency uh, should be easy to prevent uh, just by ensuring you get enough vitamin B12 in your diet. And if you have to treat a deficiency, uh, then usually uh, a supplement will do it. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative. Don't forget to subscribe to Healthline's Authority Nutrition YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button below this video.